game of the season on the road against number six LSU. Our very own Phil Byrne is live in Baton Rouge to break it all down for us. Hey, Phil. Hey, well, try to get out to Baton Rouge. Sometimes life gets in the way. Actually had a plant spill close to Highway uh, I-12 get in the way. So we're going to try to get back out to Baton Rouge tonight. I'm in Louisiana, kind of scenic behind me right here. But talk about this game. Two undefeated teams set to take the primetime stage in Death Valley in Baton Rouge tomorrow night. Now, most figure the LSU Tigers would be in this spot with the success that they have had in recent memory, but not the Florida Gators with the struggles in the last couple of years and ultimately leading to must champ out Matt McElwain in. This season has been a Cinderella story so far for UF, but this week has been anything but more of the nightmarish variety. But if history is any indication, we'll be in for a special game tomorrow night. This is the first time since 2012 that the Gators have played in a top 10 matchup. Tiger Stadium is one of the most imposing venues in not just the SEC, but the country as the Gators last win here came back in 2009 with Tim Tebow as the quarterback. In this series, if you run the ball better than your competition, you're going to end up winning the game as the team that has won the rushing battle has actually won the last 10 meetings. Both coaches weighed in on the importance of this game earlier in the week. You know, we're, we're going against a team that I think out of all the teams we played is the most complete team. Offensively, defensively, special teams. And each of their units feed off of, of, of themselves. And we uh, kind of described uh, uh, the night. And this will really be the first big time opponent in that, in that stadium on Saturday night. So uh, we're really looking forward to it. And of course, the big storyline heading into this one, no Will Greer. It will be Treon Harris under center for the Florida Gators. We'll have uh, some player reaction on how the Gators and LSU Tigers will be dealing with the fact that there will be a new quarterback for the Gators starting in a primetime game. Hey, listen, we will not be in Baton Rouge quite yet, but when we get out there, you're going to see how festive this place is. This is going to be like a game unlike anything that we have seen this year. Should be quite a bit of fun. So you're going to want to come back. Uh, for 11, we'll have the Friday Night End Zone live out in Baton Rouge, but we'll also have plenty more coming back out in sports. Reporting live right now in Louisiana, I'm Phil Byrne. Back to you in the studio. All right, safe drive the rest of the way there, Absolutely. Phil. <laughs>